welcome all of you to this video. Till now, we have come to know about polygons and their types, angle sum property of quadrilateral, trapezium, Today in this video, we will understand kite and characteristics of kites. Can you tell what is this? Very good. This is a kite. All of you must have flown kites and had a lot of fun. Do you know, kite is an important part of geometry like square, rectangle, trapezium, parallelogram. Kite is also a special type of quadrilateral. Kites are easier to understand than mere sightings, but a little difficult to define in precise mathematical terms. Because it is also a quadrilateral, it has four vertices, four sides, four angles, as well as two diagonals. Let's name these heads with M, N, O and P. If you look at it, you will see that this pair of arms M, N and M, P is smaller than both other sides O, N and O, P. This kite has two diagonals M, O and N, P. The two diagonals intersect each other at a point X. Let us discuss these. If you bend this quadrilateral kite with respect to its diagonal NP, you can see that the triangle MNP is smaller than the triangle NOP, that is, both triangles are not congruent. That is, the corresponding parts of these triangles will not be of equal measure. If you put the top O at the top M, you can see that the measures of these two angles are not the same. Now if we talk about diagonal MO, then you will see that here MO divides this kite into two triangles, MNO and MPO. We can see that the triangle MNO completely covers the triangle MPO when the kite is folded relative to this diagonal MO. Consequently, we can say that the two triangles are mutually congruent. That is, the corresponding parts of both triangles will be of equal measure, that is, the corresponding sides MN and MP and the sides ON and OP are equal and the corresponding angles MNO and MPO are also of equal measure. So we can say that a kite has two pairs of different adjacent arms. The two sides of each pair are mutually equal. The angles formed between the two unequal arms are of equal measure. And the angles formed between the two equal arms are not of equal measure. Let us discuss one more important fact. You can see that both the diagonals of kite are not of equal measure. Now, if we look at the triangles MNP and OPN, we can see that both these triangles are isosceles triangles. Because each triangle has two sides of equal measure. And MX and OX are the median from the vertices M and O of the triangles MNP and OPN respectively. With the help of which we can say that the measurements of NX and PX are equal. This leads to the conclusion that the larger diagonal MO of the kite bisects the smaller diagonal NP. We know that in an isosceles triangle, 
the median drawn between the two equal sides on its opposite side from the vertex is perpendicular to it. That is, in the isosceles triangle MNP, line segment MX bisects the arm NP. Similarly, the line segment OX bisects the arm NP. The MX plus OX is equal to MO, so this leads to the conclusion that the larger diagonal of the kite bisects the smaller diagonal. We know that in an isosceles triangle, the median drawn on its opposite side from the vertex between two equal sides bisects angle at that the vertex. That is, the diagonal MO bisects the angles M and O. Therefore, we can say that the diagonal formed from the vertices of unequal angles of the kite bisects these angles. Today in this video, we learnt kite and characteristics of kites. In the next video, we will learn some examples based on these.